right at the shoreline. have been having a terrible time locating the crappie so far this year so today we're gonna to do something a little different same lures but we just had a massive snowstorm no not a snowstorm it's 75 degrees we just had a massive storm go through this morning at about four and well lost it from four to six o'clock soaked everything thunder lightning the whole kit and caboodle well right now the sun's out but they're expecting another storm this evening so we are going to head down there now real quick see if we can get on the fish you know see if they're biting between storms uh, i don't know maybe you know but we're going down there to check it out Oh, he took that right at the shoreline. Rub over the, oh, he spit it out. Not a good hook set on him. We are back here at the same spot. Reason for that is, is I don't want to miss the crappie because once they get in here, they get in here thick. You can catch them just about every cast, but if you miss them, you miss them. That was a big fish, big fish. That was not a bass. I'm not sure what that was. It might've been a pike. See you, Daryl. See you, Daryl. They're both named Daryl. another one short biting oh, he hit that one right at the shore Well, that guy did not have any commitment issues. Not what we're after, but we'll take it. I just switched to a smaller spinnerbait. 
I got a Guggen quarter ounce spinner bait with a clear plastic tail. Trying to downsize it just a little bit here. Oh, there's a bite. He's not going to commit. Or is he? Nope, he's not going to commit. That looked like a, a bite looked like a bluegill. I'm going to move on up the creek and see what's going on down that way. There isn't a whole lot here. Nothing makes me matter than guys that come down here fishing and just leave their garbage laying here. As soon as it hit the water. What are you? Well, not what we're after. Nice little bass, quite a bit smaller than the last one. That guy did not have any commitment issues at all. As soon as it hit, he took it. Oh, the sun's gone away and the bite, I was just about to say the bite went away too. But <laughs> it didn't. Nice little bass there. Not too bad. Guess I spoke a little too soon. And again, no commitment issues on that fella. Well, that's going to do it for down at the creek. It's really hard to keep them bass off there. We're not targeting them. Uh, again, it's illegal to target them. But if you're looking for the dogfish that are in the same habitat, and they pretty much hit the same lure, so it kind of is what it is. You just try to keep them as stress-free as you can and then release them. But that's it. So do the fish bite between storms? Well, sort of. Uh, I don't know where the bluegill and the crappie were. Obviously not where I was. But we'll try it again. We'll keep plugging along. We got to hit them sooner or later. Uh, we might have to take a road trip to uh, Shrewsbury because that's where the bulk of them are. It's just a bit of a drive. But anyway, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed that. Got a little bit of fishing in between storms. Taking a break from working on Mom's Saturn, which is uh, probably what I'm about to go do right now. So we'll see you all in the next one.